right, my video is going to be about changing out my slides. So my current slides look like this. And the first thing I have to do is create my morning slide. So that's the one I'm gonna show you how to do. This is my current slide and I'm changing to this slide. So um, I've already created my list of slides or the types of slides that I want for this month. And uh, tomorrow is Monday. And so as I'm sliding through my slides, I go to the next um, slide, which is what my kids see in the morning when they come in and it shows them what to do. So you can see this one is kind of primary and we have 35, I think, days of school left. So we're gonna start changing things up just to keep them on their toes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is bring over um, this, which is just a sample of um, our morning announcements with Mrs. Butel. And when I wanna add that, I'm gonna go to insert and I'm gonna go to video and then I can click, right click, paste it or not. <clears throat> Sorry, go back to Mrs. Butel, click on her video and it's gonna give me the video. And I'm going to copy the link and I'm going to stop it. I'm going to go back over here and paste. So it's going to give me her video, which is our morning announcements. And then I'm going to plug that in here. And then each morning when I come in, she's already um, sent me her new morning announcements. And so I will just replace it. Um, but right now I want to have a space for it on my board. I'm going to go back over here and um, I don't like this timer in particular. So I'm going to grab myself a new timer. So I'm going to go to my page of timers that I have. And I like this one. So I'm going to do a 10 minute timer. I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to bring it over here. Um, and I'm going to add it to my page which is really nice because then I can have it right there. I'm gonna drop it, put it up in the top corner up here. And then the only thing left, I'm gonna go back to my page that I have and my morning announcements or my good morning. And I'm going to, let's see, I'm just making sure that kids know what they're doing. Okay, so I need to add a square that talks about what they're gonna be doing right now. So I'm gonna go back over here and I'm gonna add a text box and add a text box. I'm gonna put it right here and I'm gonna type in that box. I'm gonna change it to white font or white text. Um, what am I doing this morning? Okay, and now that I have it, I'm going to check it because I know I'm pretty sure that I have spelling errors in it. So I'm going to go through it. I'm going to change the font size so it's a little bit bigger. And I can see that I skipped a space there. So then I'm going to take this whole thing and let's see, I want to add some kind of border weight. So I'm going to add a border weight around it. I'm gonna make that border weight white, okay? So I have that there. And then in the morning, um, I always have the kids do an assignment. And since we've been working on telling time, I'm gonna ask them to finish my math workbook. Page 189 to 192. And you can work with your team. Okay, so now I have that kind of set up. Um, looks like I might have made an error there. I pull the sides out, 
put a little space there and I'll take up that space. There we go. So I'm all set for the morning. I might change. Let's see what's this font down here. This font is grand. So I like to kind of have the same font. So let's see. I'm going to go down to my grand standard. I like that one. All right. And maybe I'll add a little underlining there. Change that to 24. You can see I don't have a capital. So I'm going to make that a capital I. And I'll make it a little bit bigger. Maybe I'll include Mrs. Butel in there. Let's see. And how can I do that? Oh, I can add some enter, 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 enter. Ooh, that looks nice. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to put that. Enter. And I think what I might do on this one is add some bullet points. We've been working on bullet points. So maybe I'll come here. I'll make it all 24. And I'm going to add some bullet points. We've been really working on bullet points. So I think that'll be a good one to add for them. And let's see. There we go. Let's add a capital there. All right. So I'm all ready for this morning. Uh, for the morning, I have my timer. Um, and I have my morning announcements. I'll change those out in the morning when Sid sends me a new one. But now I have an open space. And then my slide is all ready. Um, after I'm done with that, I've already created my greeting slides um, for my group that we're going to do. And then talking about what is our topic that we're going to be talking about in our group, what activity we're going to be doing. Um, so those are the things that I'll do. And then uh, after we do this, I will add in my math slide. And you can see I've already created my math slide for the day. I have my topics on it, what they need when they come to the carpet, how are they going to be engaged in their learning, and what can they do when they're done. So um, I pretty much run the slides like this all uh, every day um, and the kids so the kids really know what to expect. The only thing we're still working on is our science slides um, and it just changes out based on the um, science experiments that we're doing. But they know that math and reading are the two areas they can really expect to know exactly what's going on and exactly what they're working on. So this is my how-to of how do I make my morning slides.